Well, good morning, everyone. Today I've come to find some red deer, so let's get to it. Yeah, today I've come to a place called Blackamoor. Uh, it's just on the edge of the Peak District, the other side of uh, Sheffield. And by all accounts, there's meant to be some red deer here. Well, it's I've come here for two reasons. One, to photograph the red deer. And two, it's the start of the rutting season, or so I've been told. So I've never been here before, so I'm just hoping it works out. I kind of made a rookie mistake and didn't charge up my flogging camera so I don't know how much flogging I'm going to be able to do. I just put a new battery in but it doesn't seem to last too long. So without further ado let's get to it and we'll see what we can find. wind's blowing behind me so my scent will be carrying that way so if the deer are a little further behind me they won't smell me because my scent will be going the opposite way and just to see if I can get over this hill behind me to see if I can find anything I don't want to talk too loud because I don't want them to hear me I don't know too much about tracking. Sometimes I wish I paid more attention to some of my friends who used to go hunting when I, a long time ago. I'll see, stop talking now and I'll see if I can uh, go find them. I'm uh, just stopping for a bit to probably take this sweatshirt off because even though the temperature is not too high we're walking around I'm getting quite warm I'm keeping gonna keep the hat on anyway because it's as you can hear it's quite windy uh, just gonna stop have a cup of coffee as well and just rest here for a little while Never know, something might come over the brow of the hill, but I'm not too sure. I mean, that's it with uh, wildlife photography, you don't know whether you're going to see something or not, which a lot of you know. So, I'm going to have a cup of coffee, take my sweatshirt off and just rest here for a little while and then get back to it.
Well, hi everyone. I've uh, not seen any deer yet, but I've just seen a northern wheat eater, which I didn't really expect. But I'll, uh, if I've got any fairly decent images of it, I'll put it, put them up as usual. Sorry, I'm having to look where I'm stepping because I'm going down a pretty steep hill. And, uh, but yeah, it's fantastic around this place. So I'll show you behind me. The views are great. But I just don't know if I'm going to see any red deer. It'd be a shame if I don't. But I'm going to follow this path down to the bottom and then walk back up towards the care park. Um, it's not as big as what I expected this place to be. But Peak districts go on for miles as a lot of you probably know. Uh, but this trail, it's only a short one. So, anyway, I'll keep looking. There's always hope, yep. Yeah? And I'll uh, speak to you soon. Incidentally, that uh, deer that I thought I heard turned out to be false. It wasn't a deer. Uh, there's some cows off in the field over the way, so I'm assuming it must have been them instead of a deer. Um, when I listened to it, there were it was a long way off, and when I think of what a deer sounds like. It was similar but just wasn't quite the same so sorry about that. Anyway, I'll keep walking now and I'll see you in a bit. I've just found what I believe are red deer droppings. I don't, so I believe they are around but I just can't see any. Um, I haven't heard any, so yeah, we'll keep looking, there's always hope, in, isn't there? A local jogger has just told me that he's just spotted a big stag just down this path with uh, bracken and stuff on his antlers. A bit of camouflage. So there's hope. Just hope he hasn't scared it off. So I'll talk to you later. This is fantastic. I haven't seen it just yet. The adrenaline rush that I'm getting right now is fantastic. I'm just looking for this uh, stag, trying to be qu fairly quiet. Um, the last thing I want to do is scare him. But I don't know if that jogger scared him or anything. So I'm just having a, a look around. Trouble is he didn't say how far down it was. He just said there's a big stag down there. So We'll keep a lookout. So I'll talk to you later. Uh, hopefully, we'll see it.
because it'd be nice to actually see one in the wild and not in a deer park. Ooh. So I best to concentrate on where I'm walking and uh, see if I can see this stag. So I'll talk to you later. Well, I haven't seen the deer, but I've just seen a buzzard or some sort of bird of prey. It was a bit too far to get a positive ID. But I could certainly hear it. But yeah, I don't know if that guy was lying to me, but I've seen no sign of this big stag that he was on about. But I'll keep looking. The day's not over yet, it's just begun, pretty much. Yeah, I've only been here a couple of hours, well, about three hours. Uh, yeah, about just about three hours. So, I've got a few more to go yet before I have to head back. So, yeah, there's always hope yet. As long as I can just see one, that'd be nice. But if I could see a group, that'd be fantastic. But whatever happens, it's been a fantastic day out. So, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you all in a little while. Oh, hi everyone. I was just talking to one of the locals around here and he said that the deer left, unfortunately, for somewhere else uh, a few days ago. Because, as you can hear in the field, the farmer's been cutting hay. And apparently it's where these red deer like to stay on a, a certain soily mound. So I'm um, just finding one of the main footpaths to get back to the care. Uh, I may come back next week. He said they might be back and told me the best place to look for them. Or, I may go to a place called Studley Royal. But unfortunately there you've got to pay. And they're not as wild. So I've been told. I mean, they're not tame by any means, but they're not as wild. You're pretty much 100% guaranteed to see you somewhere. So, this is what I've been told anyway, whether it's true or not, it's a different matter. So I'll speak to you when I get back to the care, or close to it. Oh, I'm not far from care now, uh, another 15, 20 minutes. Unfortunately, I haven't seen any red deer, but that's the way of it. Uh, we are told by one passerby that if I came back next week, I'd probably see loads of them. So, we'll have to see. Either come back here next week, or go to Studley Royal. <laughs>